What we have here is a mannequin uh, courtesy of the National Fire Museum and through that we in place of hands are using pig's feet which are very similar in texture and bone structure as the human hand. So with our test dummy in place, all we needed was some firepower. Under the supervision of the Pennsylvania State Police Bomb Squad, we obtained this box of recently confiscated illegal fireworks, which should do the trick nicely. If this went off in your hand, is it going to hurt? Or are you going to end up at the emergency room? I would say yes. Without wasting any time, we started small. A few sparklers here, a laser flasher there, and it didn't take long to show evidence that even small fireworks can burn the skin. Next, it was on to the bigger stuff. Our pig's foot couldn't quite grip this M80, but a little duct tape to secure it in place. A quick check revealed broken skin and what looks more like pulled pork than a foot. The thing about fireworks is that they're unpredictable. Short fuses and missing labels can lead to big accidents, which is why the federal government classifies fireworks and states set their own laws. The difference being that uh, you're talking about things like bottle rockets. Uh, in these cases here, you have a, a ground display that'll shoot uh, small aerial fireworks up. Even some common fireworks legal in many other states are totally outlawed in Pennsylvania. Well, this time we've got our test dummy postured right over top of this huge Roman candle cake. Once we light this thing, 25 of these explosives are going to come shooting out right into this guy's face. By the end of the blast, it's clear that a real person would be seriously injured. And proof that the wrong fireworks in the wrong hands can go seriously wrong. Anytime that you're utilizing fireworks, they should be in a controlled environment and done by the experts.